Hello, I'm Pat O'Hare, Chief Market Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Tuesday, August 12th. Several negative items out of the financial sector sent the stock market tumbling more than 1% on Tuesday, overshadowing the third consecutive drop in crude prices and a decrease in the trade deficit. The financial sector dropped 5.2%. Now the sector is down 22% from its 52-week high, although it is up 26% from its July 15th multi-year low. UBS reported its fourth straight quarterly loss and is separating its business divisions into three independent units. Separately, in an SEC filing, Wachovia reported a wider second quarter net loss than was originally reported. The news sent shares of Wachovia more than 12% lower. J.P. Morgan Chase disclosed in a regulatory filing itself that trading conditions have deteriorated compared to the second quarter, noting that spreads on mortgage-backed securities have widened, causing losses of $1.5 billion since July. J.P. Morgan had its 2008, 2009, and 2010 earnings estimates cut at brokerage firm Ladenburg Thalman. Morgan Stanley said it is going to repurchase $4.5 billion in auction rate securities, but the New York Attorney General said the move is too little, too late, according to media reports. Morgan Stanley's credit rating was also downgraded to A1 from AA3 at Moody's. Goldman Sachs had its earnings estimates cut by influential Oppenheimer & Company analyst Meredith Whitney, who cited weak customer volumes, weak global equity markets, and weak advisory and underwriting revenue. In addition, Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse cut their earnings estimates as well for Goldman Sachs. Although financials were the worst performing sector by far, there was weakness in other areas as well. Eight of the ten sectors posted a loss, with utilities tumbling 2.1 percent after Constellation Energy said in a regulatory filing that it may have to post collateral if its senior unsecured credit ratings decline below contractual levels. The tech sector, which was unchanged, outperformed on a relative basis. Shares of Apple got a boost after Lehman Brothers said iPhone demand may surpass Wall Street's expectations. As a result, the tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite posted a narrower loss than its counterparts. The material sector, up 0.5%, posted the largest gain. Monsanto gave a strong gross profit growth outlook for its corn seeds and traits business. In typical fashion, crude prices traded in a volatile manner, rising as much as 1.3% before settling with a loss of 1% at 113.31 per barrel. There was no clear catalyst for the decline in oil prices. In economic news, the June trade balance unexpectedly narrowed, which will provide a strong boost to third quarter GDP. Specifically, the real price-adjusted trade deficit fell to $39.1 billion from $43.1 billion in May. I'm Pat O'Hare for Briefing.com. Thanks for listening, and have a good evening.